today's fads. Today we're going to use the URL toolbox once again, and this time we're going to look for potential spear phishes. The concept here when I'm using spear phishing is that an adversary, a bad guy, will send your company a email that is similar to a domain that you might trust. And so as you're looking at your email and there's a link to someplace, you're going to read that email and you're going to go, oh, that, that, I trust that site, and you're going to go there. Uh, a really bad example would be send you to Google and the URL is goggle. It has only one, one O or maybe has three O's or things like that. And so we're going to show how to check for that in a, in a domain URL. It could be an email, whatever the case may be. And once again, our tool of choice for this will be the URL toolbox. You can get that from Splunkbase. It's app 2734. Just go, uh, search for URL toolbox. I'll post the link below. It has a whole bunch of, uh, algorithms, uh, macros you can use. I personally, for this one, we're going to use the UT Levenstein. Yesterday's video was about UT Shannon. Uh, this is just an awesome toolbox. It just provides some things that you don't have natively out of the box with Splunk. And here's my query. I'm going to be looking again at web logs. Uh, so here's my web logs. Probably not the best place to check for uh, uh, Levenstein but I don't have email logs being monitored, so I have to make do with what I've got. If you have email logs, that's a perfect place to look for it. I'm gonna do a stats count by URL, reason being, I have 15,855 web logs, but only 371 domain URLs that they visited. So why run this algorithm through all 15,000? Just run it through the 371. This basically is like deduping, uh, but much faster. I'm gonna do an eval my domain. What you have to do in this case, you have to compare two strings together and it will tell you the difference. So I've got to make a string that I'm comparing it against. And so I'm gonna make my domain equal to google.com. Com. You would want to make this your domain, the domain you're in, that you want to check for to see if there's things close to it. And then I'm going to use this macro UT Levenstein, my domain, comma, URL, and macro. And you just use ticks there to start and end the macro. And then I'm just going to go table UR UT Levenstein. And so then it's going to come back with the results. It's going to give me a number. The larger the number is the number of characters that are different between the two strings. Uh, clearly, www.google.com has zero characters different from the domain I sent in, whereas google.com has colon 443. It differs by four characters, colon 443. That's four characters. Google APIs, the www.google is all the same, but it has this APIs uh, slightly different, so it's got four characters that differ. Um, it will give you some things to be you have to be careful of, like woot.com here. The reason it's really close, there's nothing to do with Google here, but I put in as my domain www and a .com. If I had just put Google, this would not have matched, but because it does, it's looking at this www dot and the .com, so it differs by four characters. I use that specifically so you can understand how this Levenstein algorithm works. It's really kind of cool. You get to, uh, you move out, get bigger numbers, and you can see there's just no relationship whatsoever. And so a high Levenstein score means not likely a spearfish. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. I hope this gives you some more tools in your tool belt, helps you move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja, and I hope you keep coming back and watching the videos.